Hey, hey, good morning, Positive Impact Club. So this morning is day number three of the Positive Impact Club members guest speaking series. And I am super excited to bring you a message from Amy Aldridge. Honestly, I could spend the rest of my day telling you just how awesome Amy is. Not only as a business owner, but also as a spouse, a mother of two amazing children, one of which, Haley, is also a PIC member and a freshman at Todd's alma mater, Ithaca College. Amy is also a community leader and a true inspiration to all of those who are lucky enough to be a part of her network. Personally, my favorite thing about Amy is she has an unquenchable thirst and desire for improvement and she's always willing to try new things. I guess that's two things, but with Amy, who can pick just one? When Todd and I created a test group for a 100-day challenge, Amy was the first agent with her hand up to join us, and she attacked our challenge like she does everything else in her life with 100% effort. So today, we are excited to have Amy share her success habit of remembering and addressing people by name. Admittedly, this is an area that I personally need to work on. So I took a lot away from this message and I am confident that you will too. Remember, if you are interested in becoming a guest speaker at the Positive Impact Club too, we would love to feature a video that you create to our group of over 1,000 like-minded members. Just drop me a line at scott at positiveimpactclub.com and I'll be sure to get you on our morning huddle schedule. Now, I will get off of your screen so Amy can share her message with you today. Good morning, Positive Impact Club. Like many of you, I spent some time last week in Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world, Sin City, Glitter Gulch. You can go out there to see big names or get your own name up in lights. Some people go and use different names while they're out there, but that's a discussion for another time. When it comes to getting to know people and deepening relationships, one of the best things you can do is call the other person by name. That shows that you care enough to remember who they are. It says that they're important to you. And when we forget someone's name, it can be downright embarrassing. We feel better when people remember us and worse when they don't. Studies show that hearing your name activates your brain, even if it's in a very noisy room like those casinos. You may notice that many influential leaders call people by name. That's not by accident. They know it matters. I've been blessed with the ability to remember people's names, and it's come in handy time and time again. For many people, that skill does not come quite so easily. There are various techniques that you can use to remember people's names. One is to meet and repeat. Hello, Todd. It's nice to meet you. Another is to associate. Scott likes the Steelers, Steelers, Scott. Well, maybe not. A third is to make connections. Michelle, that was my college roommate's name. I'll remember that. There are a variety of others, so find one that works for you. In the best-selling management book of all times, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Dale Carnegie discusses six ways to make people like you. Now, it's also important to remember how to pronounce people's names. Some people say Carnegie, but when you're from Pittsburgh, like I am, and Andrew's influence is everywhere, you have to say Carnegie. Anyway, one of those six principles is, quote, remember that a person's name is to that person the sweetest and most important sound in any language, end quote. Although Dale may have phrased that a little differently if he had written the book today, the formula is still as powerful as it was in 1936. If you haven't read the book, I highly recommend it. So my ask of you today is that you make a concerted effort to remember people's names because I know you care about the people you meet and it gives you an advantage in your profession over that person that always says, hey, how are you? Hey, nice to see you. Hey, what's going on? Hey, have a great day.